I'm James Lynch Urbaniak and I'm an Instruction and Professional Development Specialist at HSTA. I was a former teacher. I taught at Elima Intermediate in Eva Beach. Um, I taught middle school language arts and social studies. Today is a really awesome day because this is the first time we're having a conference for teachers where they can actually earn three PD credits towards their reclassification. And what's really unique about today is that this conference is taking place both virtually and face-to-face -face across the state. My name is Corey Harkins. I'm a new teacher at Farrington High School. I teach biology for 10th through 12th graders. Hi, my name is Lydia Hoff. I'm a, a university student, education student at University of Hawaii West Oahu. Well, my name is Ashley Henyon. This is my first year in teaching. I, I teach first grade at Kainalu Elementary School in Kailua. Today I'm here to meet some new teachers and also get some insight into some certain um, topics that I've wanted to learn more about. At Farrington I teach biology to ELL students, English language learners, and I'd like to get more strategies based on how to teach them not only the science content but also to insert language learner goals into my curriculum. Well I just want to, you know, become a better teacher, you know, to be able to learn all the different skills, to differentiate from my kids, you know, just to broaden the knowledge that I know so that I could do better for them you know, that'll help me professionally. Well, since I'm in a practicum right now, I'm hoping to be able to expand on my uh, skill set within the classroom and build on the skill sets that I need for when I have my own classroom. I think it's super important to get new teachers together to talk about uh, curriculum, to talk about strategies in the classroom. New teachers have a fresh uh, mindset and usually, usually a growth mindset um, soaking up new information and I, I myself as a new teacher I'm really excited to meet other new teachers who are also excited about teaching and growing within our craft and I think that the HSTA conference here is a really great opportunity to bring new teachers together to learn about teaching and become better and also receive three credits to improve ourselves as teachers. I think it's like a superb opportunity and I took advantage of it as soon as I could. So, I went to the reclassification workshop and I found out about all these different ways, you know, to give yourself a raise. Um, and it's going to take a while, you know, but it's doable, you know, as long as you know, okay, to come to these, you know, to be able to have your own choice of the PD courses, you know, to take to give yourself a raise. Coming out of college, you might not have the skill sets that you need to be successful in your own classroom. So these, the more obvious benefit of these uh, breakouts is you're able to build on that skill set and to, uh, network with other teachers, um, gain support from your union, your HSTA, network with those people, and make friends, I think. <laughs> We're incredibly excited about this conference because there's a ton of firsts. First of all, we're combining our pre-service educators who are NEA student members with our early career educators who are currently teachers. So this is a huge conference for early career educators across the state. And we're really providing them with targeted professional development and learning opportunities that they've asked for. So we have sessions on classroom management, on working with our special needs students, to um, implementing Google and Google Apps for Education in their classroom, along with a variety of breakouts that we've heard from them based off their surveys that they've sent into HSTA and NEA. The other big first is that um, this conference is taking place statewide virtually as well as face-to-face. -face. So here in Oahu um, we're having face-to-face -face breakouts but for our neighbor island teachers and our Oahu teachers they can also do it from home virtually and that's a major first for um, our members um, because clearly they want to experience um, 21st century learning in their home or in places where they feel comfortable learning. Um, and the other big first is that we are bringing all of our participants together, whether face-to-face -face or virtual, into a giant learning community after this um, through NEA Ed Communities. Uh, so they'll be able to continue the learning online virtually. As a teacher, in-service teacher with the Department of Education, by taking this course and completing a portfolio, they'll earn three peer professional development credits that they can use towards reclassifying their pay. For a brand new teacher who comes in with a bachelor's degree, who takes about 15 credits, that's at least two to $3,000 increase in their overall base salary. So this free conference that we uh, provided a coupon for our new members to attend, uh, for thanking them for being an HSTA member, um, they'll be 
gaining those credits so that they can hopefully earn that pay increase at the next semester.